Hello guys, so welcome to Care Tutorials. So let's continue the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this railway bridge over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, now what I will be doing over here is like, uh, let's select this part and let's just duplicate it over here. in this way at the center of it after that what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into this side view over here and we'll create this panel over here for that it's very simple let's create a box over here at the center of it so let's slightly push this up so let's scale it over here let's slightly drag this select so this After that, push it over here. Let's again take a line tool over here. Let's just drag it in this way. And rendering, enable in viewport and make it as a rectangle and increase its length and width and slightly push it over here. that's it so if you want you can slightly reduce it so with the vertices you can just push it in this way and slightly just push it up over here so Now, convert to editable poly and let's give connect. Let's go into the polygons over here and let's give inset a bit and let's give slight extrude and push it inside click ok over here so once you are done with this now I can just mirror it and make a copy of that I can slightly push it over here in this way and simultaneously I will be just duplicating this at the center over here and Again, I'll mirror it in Y axis. I'm sorry, only this part. So just mirror it in Y axis and push it over here onto the top. So now, once you are done with this, we can also duplicate the same thing. If you want to duplicate it, we can again mirror it in x axis no copy y axis click ok and we can slightly push it in this way much better that's it so now this will be repeating will be repeating this right away so let's just select this whole thing over here so select this whole thing exclude this 
and exclude this exclude this shift and drag it okay before we exclude this also this also shift and slightly just drag it in this way that's it so we have duplicated this stuff over here also we will be selecting this part and making a copy of it save your file that's very important so just select this whole thing and just do it in this way after that is done now what I can do over here is like I can slightly select this push it over here a bit select this and make a mirror in x axis and duplicate it in this at least we should go with this much of it so for that what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be slightly selecting this and I'll make it a bit bigger over here so slightly scale this alright So what we'll be doing over here is like definitely this is going to be at the bottom part. So first I'll slightly just push it up. I'll just delete this stuff and select this whole thing and I'll just slightly duplicate this over here. After that what I can do over here is like if you want to extend it you can definitely extend it not a problem over here so let's go to the top view over here let's take a line tool and let's just push this up and use a modifier called a sweep modifier and let's make it as a over here and increase its length and width or else you can go with this eye flange so we can use this eye flange over here and slightly push it over here in this way so definitely we are creating a eye flange over here and duplicating this eye flange in this way after that again I'll make one more copy of it I'll make one more copy of it and I'll delete this modifier and I'll go into this AC extended and I'll use a bit of uh, railing over here so after taking this railing pick railing path and let's 
make this uh, railing path over here just put it in this way and also once you have selected this as a railing path just duplicate it that's it so once you are done with this let's again go to the top view over here and let's go into this and let's create a box over here so let's just push this box right up over here in this way and let's go to the top view and let's place something below it so we can slightly just scale this in this way just shift and drag now after that what I'll be doing over here is like we can make the tracks over here that's as simple as that so let's go again to the top view take a line tool over here let's just take a line tool over here just drag it up so let's go into this you can use again a sweep modifier use a sweep modifier and you can use a T over here with thickness and your corner radius that's it I'm just normally basically creating for this just duplicate that stuff over here and let's go to the top view now before that what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be excluding this whole thing so let's just exclude this for now and duplicate this over here in this so again select this and shift and drag and duplicate yes. much better so select this whole thing scale it in this way and let's just give a basic color to it let's just give a specular to it so looks much much better so let's again go to the top view over here and let's take a box over here just push it up push this up go into the front view slightly push it up select this and this push it up select this let's go to the top view and make the copies over here so once you're done with this you can just select this and let's just give material to it so if you want to make some kind of 
unevenness at the bottom you can easily create it so let's give a modifier called a noise modifier and let's give a scale over here and let's make it as uneven over here and reduce this stuff like this that's it so once you're done with this you can use it in this way just save your file again so if you want to uh, create something on the top you can go with that not a problem and if you want to give a material for the base also that can also be given over here so we if you don't need a line you can just delete the line over here so i can just go into the material over here and if you want to give a vray material to it you can just give a vray material to it so i can just go into render setup and activate this vray over here and go into standard go into vray material let's give diffuse as black over here refract full refraction assign it give a bit of reflectiveness over here okay so if you want you can go into rendering environment bitmap can add something like this again huh. a more reflections so you are going with the material part you can create that if you want so that's how you can work with it over here just save your file over here so as you can see over here uh, we have done with this railway bridge over here modeling of this so diffuse i'll give some slight color to it and definitely i'll reduce its refraction so that would look much better for now so guys if any doubts please write it in the comment section so as you can see we have done with this stuff over here all right so make sure you push this down all right just make this minor changes over here which are required over here you can go with what it's right we just push it in this way that's it so guys if you any doubts please write it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel that's ko tutorials So stay tuned for more tutorials. So thanks for watching this tutorial.